have this in your room, you could actually have live theater, live sports where you can look around from any direction. Families once sat around radios, then TVs. UBC researchers say this is what's next. You could have like hockey games, the Olympics, anything that the perspective of where you sit makes a big difference. Um, and that's also true of video games. We use four projectors down here to back project onto this um, spherical display. And uh, we've carefully calibrated those four projectors so that you, what you can see is a uh, um, vivid overall image on top of the display. Now the technology developed here at UBC has been seven years in the making and the best way to try it out is to put on the glasses and turn off the light. Unlike most forms of virtual reality where users wear big headsets, the UBC developers say this tech incorporates more of the physical world. So if you remember, I think it was in a Star Wars scene where they're planning out the big attack. Everybody's around a big uh, table where the scene's up in front of them and they can see each other, see where they're pointing. And so you're really in the real world, not in your own virtual world. The technology could also be used for virtual conference calls. So if there was a head in here, they would see the eyes and the ears, the back of the head and so forth. Or for construction projects, where engineers could review the site without leaving their office. I'm pretty much a gamer, so I would like to have this one sitting in my living room while playing 3D games with it, like shooter games and even some adventure game, um, for example, playing Super Mario inside of this virtual thing and have a Super Mario to jump around in the 3D scene. That would be quite a lot of fun. For now, the researchers say they're looking for developers to help them create content to showcase this new tech. At UBC, Isabel Regem, City News.